Hello and welcome to Lemuria Ascension Mother Earth Roundtable. I'm your host, Rada Nilia, and I'm so honored today to have Queen Helen Abdeljurak. And I'm particularly excited to speak with her along with my co-host, Maya the Shaman. Yes, hello, everyone. It's nice to be here again. And uh, let me correct. It's Queen Helen Abdurajak, our very special guest. And uh, I have a question for you. But first of all, introduce yourself, dear Queen Helen. I am Queen Maria McKilling, Helen Fatima Nasaria Panolino Abdurajak, Juicy Mulan. Then Baginda Ali Elizabeth the Third. Just call me Queen Helen. I'll be happy to serve humanity and to have you again back to this special moment wherein we could speak out in the name of truth and the truth will set us free. Beautiful. So my first question to you, dear Queen Helen, is that you have been traveling outside the country and Radha and I have been really concerned, but how did it go with your travels in exiting the Philippines, Maharlika? And the latest news, if you have, uh, you would like to share this journey that is of great importance to you in this particular mission. Thank you, Princess Maya. Well, we know that the danger is always everywhere. And sometimes because of lack of finance, it's so hard to be traveling. You know, in moments of problems along the way, it is always my worry bringing the Raja of Malaysia, of the Southeast Asia, that is Raja Gamar bin Abdul Ghaffar. And as we know, he is confirmed, validated as the grandson of Tunku Abdurrahman Putra al Hajj. In bringing the prima facie, the living witness, Sultan Muhammad Ismail Ikiram, it's, it's not an easy travel at all, bringing the two important personality in this holy mission. And I thank uh, my entourage, my family, that Puga and uh, Princess uh, Lorena, for really assisting me because you know Ama is already by by age on the physical as documented is already very very old, and he needs a lot of attention. But for me, I prepared and I thank you, as you know. Finance after finance, I see to it that it is used properly. And by exiting Philippines, remember, I have said my bye-bye in the past, that if you will not do something, I have the global earth to recognize me and to help me carry out my mission, our mission. So it is the problem already. Why? Because the crime, the crime has been let out throughout the world. That is the crime against humanity. When we say the crime against humanity, there is an entity, the sovereign authority to arrest them, to get them, to put justice. Because for many years, 60 years of that, the Magdalindo they have not honored at all. And they have adulterated the treaty, the documents. That's why they can just simply acknowledge, recognize the claimants. That's why the Sampa court, the Gonzalo Sampa court in France, now they put up another conspiracy together with the head of states. What are, going, what are they going to do with that money if that is not really for them? See, it is the personal greed for power, for money, for fame, for prestige. That's why they succumb to that kind of conspiracy. So ever since it is there. Now in coming to Malaysia as advice by our grandfather, 
by the king himself, the Aka, Ferdinand Adrian Marcus, Aka, Rogelio Madrid Abran. The king has risen up. The sultan has risen up. The grandchildren, Raja Mamai and I, is here to put peace in prosperity. So basically, in coming here, it's very worthwhile wherein we were able to let the world see that the kingship, the crown, the scepter, the throne, and the birthright of the source of origin of all the assets of the world, of the entirety of the royal family, has come indeed in the territory that the last design by Tunko Abdurrahman Putra al Hajj, that is Raja Hussein Kamaluddin of Brunei. And here in Indonesia, we know that he is called Raja Hussein Kamaluddin. In Sulu, Raja Hussein Kamaluddin. So from Malacca, it has traveled to Juhor, to Juhor, to Sulu. Now, no one can ever claim this throne, this scepter, this birthright, and the crown. As Elizabeth III, by law of succession, and upon the recognition and the crowning by the nene, by the elders, they enchanted that you can see that on in June 14, upon the uh, crowning of Raja Mamai, the mountain of Kuta Kinabalu, you have seen that golden hat being placed. That means the enchanted, the Incan spirit. The land of the prairies, the land of the incant spirit has had already accepted us as the new leader, the new king and queen to lead the entire royal family of the global earth, of the seven layer up and the seven layer below. That's the Lemurian power wherein I am being sent. Despite of all the dangers, you know, we can be shoot up in the air or we can be arrested anywhere because that's their plan. Trying to swap us to the personality of the brother Al Nas. That's primary reason why I asked the office of the president to arrest the brother so that we can stop the conspiracy that up to now, all of this map to Lindo head of states from Malacanang to Putrajaya to Indonesia to all of them. If they will not adhere to my call and the call of our ancestors, as I told you, self destruct. There are four volcanoes now. Remember, in the past, I've been telling them do not push me to the wall, do not let me reach my saturation point. In the spiritual world, when I say I am tired, I let it them to decide. So they are deciding it now. So for volcanoes, what do you think would happen? Mm -hmm. They will continue doing the conspiracy. So I am advising again the office of the president. I have said my bye-bye. It's up to you now to see the other side of the coin. In June 19, 2023, how many days from now? Mm -hmm. It's the birthday of the father. That is the birthday of Lolo Rizal, of Don Pedro, of all the grandfathers that we have. They have to celebrate the victory that queen and king has done in the territory of the forefathers. Malacca, Johor, all of the Semenanjung Malayu because the treaty is going to be signed soon. Wow, so powerful, Queen. Thank you for your courage through 
all of this, you know, it takes so much courage and tenacity. And I say it all the time, but it's true. I, you know, who else could do that? Who else could continue? And it takes, um, yeah, you have to just keep moving forward without, without, you know, knowing, but you do know because you have, you have so much behind you protecting you. Would you like to speak on your, on the spiritual protection that you have as well? Yes. As I told to my grandfather, I will shoot the moon, but if I miss it, I will land the stars. But however, if I miss the stars, I am still the moon and I am still the sun. So they are my protection. All of this nene, we call it the ine in Sulu, the nene in Malaysia. And simply, I just call them Mari Lolo, the forefathers. They are with me. And I know that they will not let me also down because I have to complete my mission. Yeah. Every time I see Ama Ali, Raja Mamai, because one day, one day they will have to accept the role. The grandfather will, will be with them, inside them, to carry out this whole mission. Raja Mamai will not be able to, to proceed without the grandfather in him, because that is his destiny. That's why I am waiting that Raja will accept fully, now that he is here in the territory of the grandfather. Tunku Abdul Rajak, Tunku Abdul Rahman, brother, Putra al Haj, is the first king and last king of Southeast Asia in the premise that it is going to be handed to the grandson, Raja Tuwanku Gamar bin Abdul Gapar. So then the banner, the, the picture of uh, Raja Mamai as Tuwanku Gamar bin Abdul Gapar is in Buckingham. That's why all of those claimants going there, they are put back, they are sent back, they are being returned back because even the brother cannot completely steal the identity of Raja Mamai. In what form? He cannot get the thumb marks, he cannot get the DNA, even though, but there is specific landmark. And besides, whoever the husband of Raja Mamai of Queen Helen brother is the king, and that is Raja Mamai. Thank you, Queen. Okay, Rada, do you want to ask the, the next question or do you want me to do that, no? Yeah, so I'd like to ask, um, you know, how can a benevolent, benevolent leader tackle the deep rooted corruption you know, in the Philippines or anywhere um, in the in the government, police and military. Thank you, Princess Rada. You know, when I was in my early years as a little child, I am already filled with wisdom that I am already at the seat of war. I as, as I told you, I have seen truck by truck of young soldiers being killed in Mindanao. I have really sought to it in my soul, in my heart and in my mind, that one day I'm gonna fix Mindanao. By fixing Mindanao, I will be able to fix the entire Philippines. And once I fix the entire Philippines, I would go to the nearby because I didn't even know that I am the queen then to be installed and proclaimed. With this now that I have this crown, I can. I know I can help fix the entire global system, stopping corruption, stopping conspiracy, stopping the war, because this is my destiny. I am the queen of freedom. I'm the queen of peace. And I am the queen of prosperity as designed by God sent to me. So basically I know that all my life, every breath that I take is for the mission. The human in me will cry out, but the spirit in me will never stop to really put peace and prosperity in this new generation. The Maharlika Kingdom of God is there to assist us with the manner that the Royal Imperial Lupus 
Pasig Islamic United Kingdom of Sulu in North Borneo, is the new leader of the entire royal family of the world. By now, we know that the head of the federations of all the head of states of all the countries of the world is the Federal Republic of Lupus, which Queen has labored day and night since 2009. And just imagine how restless it could be. But the spirit in me will always say, hang on, it will, the success is on hand. And I know that I will be able to put solution to stop corruption. As I mentioned earlier, that it's hidden is inside Malacanang Palace. Now, I am in Malacca. The reason why that we have our installation and proclamation in Malacca, because I have recovered Malacanang. Malacca, Yang Dipertuan Agong is the king of Malacanang, the Raja Sulaiman, from the lineage of Majapahit and the lineage of Rajakayan, from Arab down to China, down to Sarawak, and back to Malacca. So therefore, since I was able to recover Malacanang without their knowledge, that's why I had my exit in Philippines to be able to recover Malacanang. No way they can get it back. That's why I said bye-bye. That is the Spirit of God telling me to do it so that we can stop the conspiracy, the program, the claims. All of this are programmed by the office of Malacanang. Now, no more. <laughs> I am in Malacca with the young Pertuan Ago, which is Raja Mamay. Okay, that's wonderful. So, you know, what would happen to the Philippines in the defiance of the president to arrest Alnas alias Anas of the Gafar? What would happen? He will be in trouble, as I told you. Conspiracy is conspiracy, regardless of who they are. They are not having the immunity as we are. When the queen says so, I have the document, I have the rules of the, the royalty, I have the consent letter to arrest them at a time. It is the reason why I have installed and proclaimed the young Dipertuan, the Sultan of Southeast Asia, as designed by the grandfather Tungku Abdurrahman Putralhas. So, what would happen? Oh boy, self. So, Destruct. We have the four volcanoes now active. What if they will just be covered by ashes? That's one thing they didn't realize. The spiritual warfare, the spiritual soldiers of Queen Helen of Duraja, mm -hmm. which are the Lemurians. They are from Visayas. They are from the, the tip of Cordillera. They are everywhere now. Even the molten volcano, the molten lava, are part of the soldier of Queen Helen of Turaja. Wow. <laughs> this is the enchanted world <laughs> we're talking about. So yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I hope that the people of the Philippines who listens to this message will have to start why the volcanoes are erupting. Why all of this are coming because I told them once I am out of Manila, then the Nene would know what they are going to do. And they have done their job. I have asked this a long time ago. You can interview all of those Lemurians now on their physical form. They are with us. They are just walking with us. And they are the guardians of the volcanoes. They are the guardians of the galactic power. They are the guardians of this. There is another meteor coming. So who strike them? We have the engineering battalion in the name of the Lemurians. We have the engineering battalions in the name of the spiritual. We have the guardian angels. We have the, the archangels doing that. That's one thing with the people. They don't realize the other side of their being. 
the spiritual side. They are just after the, the personal need, which is money, 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 money. They don't even care to, to really take care of their spiritual life. When they end up in the grave, they would always say, where shall I go? Then you go straight to the fire of hell. <laughs> okay, Rada. <laughs> I can't okay. help it. <laughs> On that note, the economic program of central bank with Singapore investors using the Maharlika funds program. Um, are you affiliated with that at all? That oh, the one with the, the, the president doing it with uh, Mr. Benjamin Jokno. Well, as I, I told you, whatever they do without the consent of the Queen of Finance, the QFS, then they will have nothing to do with, with this. I have nothing to do with that if they don't report to me personally. Because, you know, the banking system, the quantum and the quintal, it has already designed. It has already been there. Now, if the USA will have to destroy the finance, then they have also to be accounted for because the immunity of the quintal and the quantum is with the queen of financial system. That is Queen Helen of the Raja. I am the, the guarantor, the sovereign guarantor. I am the sovereign programmer. I am the sovereign provider at this point in time wherein they have no choice. I have to face what is needed to be faced to resolve the global financial crisis, which the world is looking at where and who can they go through to be able to have their loan restructured. Mafilindo is a loan agreement. They have abused me shoes. That's why I am installing again the Mafilindo 2023 to combat what had happened in the Mafilindo 1963. Because that is the continuation from the deed of 1878, from time immemorial, we're in the Union, the League of Nations. It's still our grandfathers doing that. Now it is my time. I am here to consolidate all the royal families that we need to restructure, to rehabilitate, to redeem, and to recover the global asset for the sake of the entire humanity. Not only those claimers, not only those people favored by the head of states like Malacanang, like uh, Malaysia, like, like anyone else. Mm -hmm. Because you know, once you are in power, that is the reason why power can either break you or can make you a wholesome person. Now, being trained as a Dominican by heart and by soul, I will always speak out for the truth, but I will always protect this time, the wealth and asset of the entire humanity. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, let's get back to, you know, the relation of the crowning of Sultan and the Sultana of Southeast Asia, which is you and King Mamai this 2023. So you mentioned that earlier, but we'd like to emphasize you know, the importance of your roles and really truly for people to get a, a very clear idea that, uh, you know, you, you mentioned before that uh, some countries have signed already an agreement. I can't remember exactly that portion where you mentioned there's 123 or something like that nations. Is this a part of that agreement or something else totally different? That is... Uh a prerequisite for them to come in into the Mafilindo 2023. Because basically all the assets, the source of funds that uh, have uh, let the countries survive in the past is coming from the source of origin, which is the gold backups, the territorial domain, the oil and gas, the deposit of the Sultan of Sulu, North Brunei. But since the Sultan of Sulu is not only in Philippines, it is also in the different parts wherein we assigned to other royalties the ruling. So this recovery is a full recovery so that we could guard and protect these assets. The 209 countries in the past signed with the quantum, that is the financial system. 
But the United Nations ordered to have all the nations to recognize the source of funds. And who is the source of funds now? It is the Makalindo 2023. That's why upon establishing the Makalindo Philippines 2023, so I am here now, established the Makalindo Malaysia, which is seated in Malacca. But however, the Malaysia, uh, the, the Makalindo Indonesia, they are the one who really made the claims from the Sukarno blood. That's why there is barn. There is this claimant sultan ever since. So all the real sultan are killed in the premise to cover up their claims. So therefore, with this, that's why the one that uh, the president favored, that is Sultan Muhammad uh, Abdullah Kiram, the one that they had been used. And there are a lot of them with the Sampa groups. I told them to arrest them. Why? Because they claim Rama Ali is alive. King Ferdinand is alive. Radya Mamay is alive. And I am alive to put justice. This is the one that she should be scared of. Because in all my life, I am not scared. I outsmarted fear even before I was born. Why? Because this is my destiny that I should be fearless, that I should be tenacious. When related to my people, I have to be protective of their rights and privileges. See, all the banks, they favor the rich, but now I am creating banks to subsidize our people's needs. Food security, what are the basic commodities that we should? We have the oil, the flour, we have all of this to cater with. Now I am going to reactivate the barter trading. So we have a lot of fishes in our Sulu waters, Palawan waters. So I am allying with our royal family in Xiamen, China to have all these things done. So they didn't realize the magnitude of what I have done. The day-to-day -day activities that I had been doing. That's why sometimes if I sleep like a chicken, oh, again, wake up. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's the way. Because if I have to enjoy my sleep, I forget my job. <laughs> it's nice to be sleeping, but with my job on hand, that only that's why when I delegate things, they would always say, Queen, you do it in five minutes, we do it how many days? <laughs> I said, <"Whoa." laughs> yeah. That's the way that God has given me the talents and abilities. If not, I am the queen. That is the privilege that I have with them. Once I say so, I have to go. Princess Maya, the danger is always everywhere. But once you outsmart fear, even the danger will run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you know, when we were already going out of the uh, to board the aircraft, I mm. know there are some blockages. Mm -hmm. But I would always say, hey, just go away. Those are spirits blocking they can go inside the man or anyone to block me mm -hmm. but once i started to roll my eyes and say hey be away mm -hmm. do not touch my path mm -hmm. i must go mm -hmm. so there's always a way there's always a way <laughs> that is the prayer part of my life that i have imbibed when i was still inside the four walls of the convent I can stay long, long years inside the wall of four corners because I am trained for that. If not that, I cannot do this work. I cannot have this patience in me just to be staying in one corner and do my job. And that is my asset. <laughs> I can do more. Well, I feel that you, you are uh, a galactic being. Sis Queen, <laughs> so I, I think that you came in this body to 
could just <laughs> exercise sure. the temporary human uh, re reality, but uh, the galactic in you is, I see that very clearly. <laughs> Yes, yes. Because, you know, sometimes even I myself is amazed. Hiya, I am still human. <laughs> I have to push myself. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. And I, I appreciate, I appreciate you both for reminding me that this moment that we are together, I feel lightened because we do not need interviews such as the, the the providers the media provides you know the major tv programs the the media uh, printouts because they see the different light of it because they are not immersed they are not attuned to what we believe mm -hmm. they can always find fault in what we say but with us proclaiming this in the most spontaneous way the people of the world see now hey the queen is having that gift the eloquent way of putting it up without fear wow we have this day the fearless one <laughs> you say princess brother yes that's true if not i cannot fight for mindanao if I did not fought for Mindanao, I cannot fight. I cannot fight for Sulu, nor Palawan, nor the entire Philippines. Now I am fighting in the premise of the Southeast Asian continent, and I am fighting into the global Earth. Mm. I'm sure, and I am really very confident that I can fix what I have designed. I told everybody. Whatever I created, I can destroy. But what I destroyed, I will create the better one. But I will not let people suffer because of what I created that has been gotten by the claimants. Mm. Therefore, at this point, I know. While I am here already in the land, of grandfather Tunku Abdul Rahman, you know, I'd like to share you the very special one. Because mm -hmm. Lolo Rizal, Saipul Rizal, the seventh sultan predecessor of law, we call him Hussein mm -hmm. Rizal, Rasul. It's just the same. This June 19, that is his birthday, right? Oh, that is the one. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Lolo, Lolo Jose, as I call him, is same as Tungko. Why? Because I have nothing in my hands to prove. I was just told by the grandfather, Ama Ali, that that is your husband. In a split of a second, I was really, I was really shocked. And just imagine, I have traveled all the way from Korea, South Korea. I have already my businesses moving. I have my business already at the top of the career, and I am earning quite a lot. I hop from one plane to the other, negotiating in the aviation community. And all of a sudden, I met Raja Mamai and the grandfather, don't be scared. Do not be mad at me. That is your husband. Uh oh, <laughs> what would happen to me? I said, oh my God, what is this? So I <laughs> ran away again. But the grandfather, Ama Ali, really cried. You know what she addressed? He addressed me, my, my daughter. Are you still going to put my feet inside the mud of Lake Wasson for protecting the entire asset? Or are you going to marry the grandson? Are you it's so difficult? <laughs> but with that, with that instance, I asked the grandfathers to give me really a physical sign mm -hmm. of who is Raja Mamai and what is my role in this mission. Mm -hmm. And that specific moment I was in Sabah because we have nothing. We were looked down. We were humiliated by the family. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm a Christian, as they thought. You know, that is the crime to them. But these politicians are being schooled learned in the Catholic school, and yet 
they will belittle me and yet their activity, they are also eating poor. These politicians are good in covering up their crimes. So what did happen? On that day, I asked, I have a little camera, a phone with a camera. So I started capturing my image, front, side, and here. Yeah. I was convinced and I cried because it was the photo of Lolo Rizal. Wow. And I said to myself, no more question asked. I will do what I can. From that time on, I moved forward. I never asked any documents from Raja Mamai to prove of who he is. Mm -hmm. Because whenever I needed most, the grandfather pop-ups in my computer and would lead the courser in the YouTube or wherever it is and would say that this is what you're going to do. So now we are here. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, is there anything else uh, that uh, you would like to ask, Karada? Um, I think that's good. You, Maya? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. And uh, we'd like to thank you again, Sis Queen Helen, for coming today. And uh, we, we're going to follow this up as soon as possible again, because it's, it's quite a lot for people to chew. And there's a lot of things that, that they don't know the names that we're talking about. So in the next video, we're going to go deeper into each of these important parts that we have covered. So I think that would be very good for people to really get more elaboration of, of this condensed you know, important information. Okay? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> I agree with you, Princess Maya, because we have to recognize our elders who fought their lives to really safeguard each and every one of us. So mm -hmm. Tunku Abdurrahman Putra al Haz is the first king and last king of Southeast Asia and the first prime minister of Malaysia. That is the direct grandfather on the father's side of Raja Mamai. Yeah, this is very important for us to go through. Uh, maybe we can do a diagram next time and, um, you know, yeah. we'll talk about this together because I think that people need to understand this in, in their visual way of thinking as well. That will help people in the world also to understand what we're talking about because a lot of this makes people wonder what we're talking about, all the names and everything else. The history is so deep. Huh? And I've said this many times over because, you know, we've been around for so long, probably be more than anybody else on planet Earth, that, you know, the history is really deep. Huh? So we'd like to do a, a slow movement next time, do one step at a time to show up a diagram of how this all took place. Huh? And I think that people will truly appreciate a diagram of what we're trying to make them see or make them understand where the positioning of the world ship is taking place because we are shifting and the world is shifting into a different paradigm. And this, this uh, divine government, which you're talking about, Sis Quinn, is, is the phase where, you know, everything, the elemental forces are involved you know, uh, the enchanted beings are involved, the galactic beings, as you have mentioned already, and the, the you know, all the four corners of the world. So there's a lot involved in this one. It's it's really a divine cosmology we're talking about and, and the purpose and reason why we are here activating souls who are ready to to hear, to see, to listen to what we're talking about. So I would like to, to end with recognizing that this is not a simple way to 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 go through this process the way we're talking right now but we are willing to make it easier for people to understand through a, a systematic way of showing that through through a diagram i think that will be appreciated by our viewers so. i will present that and that is the main reason why i am back in malaysia and i am here to give light 
to shed light to each and every one so that they would know that it was Tunku Abdul Rahman who created International Court of Justice, United Nations, and the Organization of Islamic Conference. So here the queens trying to have that shed light, shed more knowledge to each and every one. And maybe the last thing I would like to say is that this is a, a universal, you know, without having to, to have any dogmas behind it, because as I can't do it of the light, uh, we are all here together with, with our hearts open to, to embrace humanity in that way. And so uh, I'm, I heard that from both you and the King Mamai, where, where you are open to this wonderful new creation of uh, reality that we'd like to ship into this new way of being, you know, and when there's peace on earth, everyone will be more loving, will respect for each other, will be there. And when people have the prosperity, they will also feel that they're supported and loved, right? Yes, yes, yes. I agree. And that is how, at least this is a series of uh, of sharing with each other, with you, Princess Rada and Princess Maya. We are giving really a very good impact to the global earth. In fact, uh, at the same time, our Lemurians are watching and uh, the heavens are watching. And this could be the harmony now that we are giving to each and every one. Thank you very much. That's beautiful. Bye for now.